Bogo Ting. Home of the Whopper. Bogo King is an iconic fast food restaurant worldwide. Shout out to the Down Under crew. Hungry Jacks. <laughs> Little inside joke. I've ate at Bogo King my whole life, but sadly over the past recent years, it's been going through a show that is full of shits. A lot of Bogo Kings are closing, like this one. Ain't a single Whopper in there, unless they left one, but I doubt it. There actually was a Burger King kind of close to us that went viral. All of the employees quit, and they even wrote a little sign saying, we all quit. <laughs> so Burger Kings have kind of just been going through it. There's plenty of reasons people don't F around with Burger King nowadays. There's probably a bunch of like analytical reasons, but a few that I can think of are, a lot of people say the quality went down. Um, their like mascot kind of is scary to me. And I've also seen people say that it's more expensive than it used to be. Which because... I guess technically is everything, but the little I... king man's trying to take money from everyone. I also think it's just declining because it doesn't have the it factor. Like Burger King used to have the it factor and it could get it back. Some sort of cosmetic surgeries maybe. But at this current moment, it sadly doesn't have it. And we all know what it is and it can't be defined. Driving through Omaha, Nebraska and I stumbled upon this Burger King that looked like it was stuck in the 80s. <gasps> This Burger King d does have a new logo, and it doesn't look too grimy. Like, it looks like they did a fresh paint job. They've been keeping the vintage factor, but also modernizing a few things here and there. So we walked in, and I touched that little, um... Is that a burger flipper? It's the classic thing we all remember. Just kidding, I've never noticed that before today. Before I could experience this Burger King stuck in the past, I had to go to the bathroom. And I do have to say the bathroom just felt like any old bathroom. It didn't feel like it was from the 80s. It felt like it was probably made in 2005. There's this Business Insider article about Burger King in the 80s. One of the things it was talking about is a Burger King line. It would be kind of like you're getting in line for a ro roller coaster, but at Burger King. This Burger King kind of had that line, but they didn't fully commit. I feel like they did leave a lot of stuff vintage. So like, look at the front of the counter where you order the booths, the flooring, these weird spinning chairs. This Burger King location was completely popping off the rails. No, there was a line around the block. Not actually, but there was a little bit of a line in the drive-thru. <laughs> I honestly thought it was gonna be dead, but it was not. It just had good vibes in there too. No one looked at us and we didn't look at anyone else, but it was just a vibe of Let's all have fun. So I ordered some stuff and the first thing I realized was this Burger King location doesn't have that Coca-Cola freestyle machine. I have a vivid memory in my brain of being probably 11 years old and our older sister took us to Burger King and they just installed the Coca-Cola freestyle. Oh. And it was just a moment. Like in my mind, I could be making this up, but there was like three people in a line to use it. I know. I actually was just thinking, is that why they got rid of them? Because it cost too much commotion. I was a little bit mad because that Coca-Cola freestyle is just so fun. Like I want to try a grape diet Coke. I know you can do so many customizations, the touch screen, like it's just very, it's almost like a Willy Wonka thing. <sighs> we were sat in this little back area. What do you call this glass thing? Is There's like, like probably sunroom? a name for it. Yeah, let's just say it's a sunroom. So much light. I was instantly happy. I've kind no. of noticed like since it's winter and it's dark out, don't have the enthusiasm I have during the summer. Walked into this Burger King and there was light flowing into the windows. I was like, finally, I'm happy once again at Burger King. I felt the exact same way. And no one else was eating back there. We had the whole space to ourselves. I don't know what they were all thinking, but they avoided the space. Because I would argue this is the best part of this uh -huh. Burger King. So much light, booth. I love it. The queen of YouTube, Zoella. If you guys watch her vlogs, you know her kitchen has this. I think it oh, might be her living room, actually. Like, she's got yeah, her whole ceiling is glass. I don't know if she visited America, went to the Burger Kings, and decided to make her <laughs> house like that. One of the main things that made me cemented on, this is from the 80s, is the flooring. All of these photos of Burger King from the 80s have this exact same flooring. I don't know what it's called. It must be some really high quality stuff. It's lasted and it doesn't even look weathered down. Mm. It was lined with Burger King hats. So of course we both wore one. <sighs> 
Me and Lucas got a Whopper with cheese to share. Why would you get a Whopper without cheese? That's the definition of stupidity. That actually is dumb. I was a little bit mad this Burger King didn't fully stick to the 80s theme and give me the Whopper in a Burger King like rapping. Mm. No, Burger King rapping from like the 2000s. That's oh, not yeah. even from the 80s actually, but same thing. Burger King's old rapping and stuff used to be way better than it is now. I it's know. so plain now. Where's the fun? Anyway, this Whopper, um, <laughs> you guys can say it looks whatever, but in my mind it looks beautiful. I was so excited to eat this. I've had a Whopper in forever. I used to get them at least weekly in high school for a certain period. I was obsessed with Burger King. You told me you used to refer to them as jizz burgers. Oh yeah, I remember they were so juicy that like one of my friends said the other, people must cut jizz in these and like come in them and stuff because how are they so juicy? This one wasn't as juicy as it used to be in high school though. I could just tell from seeing, looking at it. Compared to a McDonald's burger, it was packing some meat. Oh. Tomato, onion, lettuce, mayo, ketchup. I love how you don't have to ask for ketchup on it. They just put it on I it. Know. I think what makes the Waffle iconic is the mayonnaise. That's what I thought my first bite in. I thought, I'm never eating a burger again without mayonnaise. That takes it to another level. It wasn't exactly how I remembered it from high school, but it still was so good. If people claim it's gone downhill taste-wise, you have these amazing memories of the past eating it. It might be the exact same taste, but like, there's been a bunch of people saying the quality has went down, but I don't know how to prove the quality has went down. Like, is yeah. there any way that someone can prove it's went down? Like, go into the ingredients from the 2000s and find what's missing, but whether or not it's true, I believe yeah. it's went down. But it still tastes like high quality. Like, it tastes hearty. This is way better than McDonald's. McDonald's is just a burger, but this feels more of like a upper echelon burger, and mm -hmm. I'm not joking. Fast food, but luxury is what you feel when you're eating a Whopper. <laughs> That's how I did feel. God, I love these spinny chairs. I don't have to just be sitting down eating my meal. I can just keep spinning side to side while having a mid-conversation. It's perfect. This was the original TikTok. You know how people always say, TikTok is making our attention spans go lower. Let's do a dopamine detox. Mm -hmm. These chairs are actually anti-dopamine detox, right? I know, because you're oh, <laughs> there's always something to focus on, whether you're in between bites, you can do a little spin. Like, it's just cool sitting on the chair. You're eating, you're taking a sip of the drink. There's just always something to do. We filmed this a week before Christmas and they had the place decorated to match that. They even had this little present next to me and I was so excited because I thought, okay, is this gonna be one of those radio stories you hear while driving to work? And it says, local man finds the golden ticket that Burger King hit in one of the restaurants and there'll be like a million dollars in there, unlimited Burger King. And I actually let Jacob open it because I thought, okay, maybe this is, this is your video should be your prize. But then there's nothing in it. Someone else had already taken it, I guess, or maybe they never even put anything in there. It's all just some sort of sick joke, I guess. I am glad that today it cemented in my mind that the Burger King Whopper is a trooper and it deserves all of the accolades. I know. I am gonna have to start returning to the Whoppers more often. I don't know if it was the sunroom, <laughs> the, the certain people there and their auras radiating, but it did feel like a little slice of heaven in there. It was sadly time to go because we finished our mail and it was time to let go of all this beautiful 80s decorations and like everything that just made it so, it's, it's timeless actually, I decided. <laughs> we were on such a Burger King high that we decided, let's hit up some more Burger Kings, you know? We yeah. all, maybe it's just split a Whopper. Obviously that isn't enough for lunch. Go get some more food, but at a different location. So I went on Google Maps and I found a more modern location. But when we arrived to it, Lucas was like, I don't know if this is really a modern location. It looks like one from like, when I was in high school. Yeah, this isn't, in for, even from the 2010s, I don't think. But it is newer than the last Burger King mm. we went to. Of course it was glorious, pulling that little Burger flipper thing. Mm -hmm. And I needed to go to the bathroom, but both the bathrooms were closed. When we walked in there, I started to get, feel this a little bit of panic rise in me. And I remember the classic saying we all know, don't ever let a high get too high because honey, the come down is gonna be horrid. And the come down was beginning. And I just felt so dark and depressed. This Burger King completely just 
I was gonna say blue balls me. Soul. Blue balled. All the positive experiences were went to negative. This Burger King also had the Burger King line. So maybe a lot of Burger King still have that. It just felt like we were in an abandoned Burger King. You could literally see there used to be photos on the wall and the manager came and tore them down. I actually don't know if the manager <laughs> did that, but there was no decoration. Felt like I wasn't supposed to be there. I know, it felt like a liminal space. This Burger King has the vibe that it might be closing tomorrow. I was super excited to go to like a modern Burger King because I wanted to use the iconic Coca-Cola freestyle machine. But they didn't even have a Coca-Cola freestyle machine. Did, did Burger King discontinue that? I know, what the heck? Because the first time I ever saw him was at a Burger King. I ordered a crispy chicken sandwich, mostly because I looked at a review of a Burger King near us, and someone gave a review where they posted a raw chicken sandwich that was sold to them. <laughs> and this honestly just like disgusted me. Let's get a chicken sandwich to see if this Burger King will make it raw. I'm assuming they won't, but. Yeah, maybe, I don't, maybe it's a thing all Burger Kings are serving medium rare chicken sandwiches. We have to investigate. I love the shine on the top of the burger. They give it a little bit of a highlight from Jeffree Star highlight probably. And I do have to say it looks juicy. Like mm. there was mayonnaise and maybe another sauce. I actually don't think so, but it was juicy. Very juicy. I was so scared to see the inside of that chicken. And it was, it was cooked. It was cooked, thank the Lord. I was a little bit scared for them because I ordered the crispy chicken sandwich and 30 seconds later it was done. So I was like, I don't really get it. <laughs> they were in a time warp back there or something. Here's the thing about a chicken sandwich. It's always good. I think it's actually their big and crispy by the way. Oh, okay, okay. It was good and it kind of reminded me of like a upper echelon chicken sandwich. But with that being said, like I just would never get it again. Yeah, do you remember there was a few years ago where there was the chicken sandwich wars. It was like Chick-fil-A, Popeyes. I think McDonald's oh, entered it at one point. Burger King never entered the picture. I don't know, maybe they tried to enter the picture, mm. but like they just don't dissolve to enter the picture. Yeah. They're, they're known for waffles, not chicken sandwiches. Even McDonald's. The chicken sandwiches just aren't that good good like yeah. stick to bogles no stick to what you know stick to the status quo <laughs> It was really good though. Like it was just a good, simple one. It wasn't spicy. There wasn't any weirdness. It was just a good middle of the road chicken fried sandwich. That's the thing about Bulgo King though, is that they try new things all the time. There was like a cheesy mac and cheese tato top they're doing right now. Mm. A few years ago, they did like Cheeto fries or something. Oh, like yeah. they are the king of creating a viral moment or something. I'm pretty sure they made a rap album at one point. On God, honestly, I was, excited for us to finish it because I just felt stuck. Like I kept looking outside the window and was like, okay, I see people driving, I see people walking. And it, and it made me feel relieved because I swear, I swore in my mind like, okay, we're gonna leave here. We're gonna be shot or something because like it feels like the world's ending. I know. But thankfully when we left, it was just normal. Like we were back to reality. <laughs> now, couldn't you a picture when we left, it was like the movie Click, Adam Sandler. Like we leave there and then we realize all of our loved ones are dead. It's been a hundred years and we missed out on everything because we entered this Burger King. No, yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised. I know, I, I was expecting that. I like the old Burger Kings more than these new ones. Yeah, same. I was born in the wrong era. <laughs> <laughs> We are not done yet. We wanted to go to another Burger King. I was on Google Maps looking at Burger Kings and I realized that there's a bunch of Burger Kings in Omaha, Nebraska that are old, like this one we went to. It also looks like it's stuck in the 80s and it has that beautiful sunroom thing that I mm. love. Once again, I have to say it, it was glorious touching that door handle. Uh. And it had the flaws from the 80s, which I think are very cool. Let's bring them back. <laughs> I know, all the interior designers. A little bit of something to put on your mood board. I went straight to the restroom and it looks exactly like the first Burger King that was stuck in the 80s. Yeah, maybe this is what the restrooms look like in the 80s. But in my mind, I would just assume this restroom was renovated in like the 2000s. These booths are even more vintage, I feel like. These booths remind me so much of this logo. And I think it just is from cups, like cups had these printed on them. And the booths reminded me of that. I know, they had kind of a yeah, similar pattern. And of course they have the swiggly, ch swiggly chairs. We, we love that. Can you imagine being in a booth and the booth rocks? Take it a step further. Rock every way. There's also a button on the side, up, down. Oh, that'd be <laughs> fun. Keep going you up can and down vibrate, all the time. Swing. 
swings. I did not stay at this Burger King for long though because I saw a sign that said no loitering. Oh. So I ran out of there. But it was nice to see another Burger King that was like stuck in the 80s or whatever. Yeah, and even a little bit of a different vibe on the inside. We thought we were done, but then we saw on the way home there was another Burger King in a different style that we hadn't seen yet that day. We had to stop by. From your research, this is like an early 2000s Burger King. Is that what you said? Yeah, I'm not 100% sure, but from a few photos that I saw, I think this is like a 2000s Burger King. Mm, and even has a play place. We were kind of going at a random time, like 2 o'clock, so we thought maybe by this time there'd be no one in the play place, so we could play in it. Maybe I'm just forgetting, but I've never seen a Burger King that's Al Gold. Usually that's blue, so like, did the owner of this one just want to do something different, or did the actual Burger King headquarters decide to try something? I wonder what the T is. Did you guys just see? They don't have those handles. Are you effing kidding? <laughs> you can't call to Burger King and not have the little burger flippers. N Maybe we're just lucky today, but most of the Burger Kings we've gone to are so clean. Like, just look at the floor. I would just picture there's some crumbs. Well, okay, now that I think back to us being at this Burger King, I was sitting in a little bit of, like, dust. But, mm. I like, for the most part, they keep it clean. And what I loved about this one is it didn't have the depressing vibes of the second one. I don't know what was going on with that second one, but I was back in Wonderland. My name is Alice and I'm in Wonderland. I was filming you order and I actually heard there was some drama with the workers. They need, maybe they need a Vanderpump Rules type reality show for this location about the employees. She took your order and was all polite and then she immediately went back in her conversation with her coworker and said, listen, I understand both sides completely, but it just sounds a little bit childish to me. I did want to hail more, but I just ordered fries. So it was just done right away. We got a medium French fry because we realized, wait, we haven't had any sides. Let's get some fries. <laughs> I know there's a huge debate about who has better fries, McDonald's or Burger King. And we are here to settle it. I was thinking, oh yeah, they're good. But then Lucas was kind of like, no, they aren't that good. And I guess our mom used to always say, Burger King fries are not good. And I don't remember that, but you said she said that. Yeah, so that might have been part of the reason why I thought that, because wouldn't it have subconsciously gone into my brain, you know, at such a young age? Yeah. But they are obviously good, but they have nothing on McDonald's fries. These nothing. are more... <laughs> These are more of a thick fry though. I don't feel comfortable saying whether I like it more than McDonald's because they're competitors and that's unfair. But I'm gonna say I like them. And I also like McDonald's fries. Maybe this is a thing and I'm not aware, but why do all of these Burger Kings just have a bunch of hats laying around? These things that we're wearing, like- It is a good, like, easy decoration, but I don't think they always used to have that. I guess it's just a cheap decoration, you know? <sighs> I was in love with this Burger King because they had nature. There was like some greenery in the corner. So it's like, oh, I'm eating artificial food, but then I get to experience nature. I know. And isn't it a whole feng shui thing, like having plants in your house, like balances everything or something? So they probably were going off of that. Maybe I'm just trying to romanticize everything, but I love this design. Also, if you look at it, it looks like two eyes and a mouth, and it kind of looks like some Illuminati type shit. I know, when I was looking <laughs> at that, I started seeing a face. Let's actually stop talking about that, because I want to keep looking at it. <laughs> Once we were done eating, I was like, okay, time to hit the play place. But it was closed, and I and I genuinely was excited to go on the slide once. I know. I knew we'd immediately get kicked out after going on the slide as adults, but I was willing to get kicked out of that Burger King for life. Is it closed because a kid shit in there, puked in there, or has it just been shut since COVID? Yeah, I feel like COVID happened, and they said, okay, this isn't sanitary, but we've all kind of witnessed this. People are using it as an excuse still, and I get that COVID is still a thing, but <laughs> at the same time, it's like, can you guys open in the play place. It's I not know. an excuse anymore. I, I decided. Know, even in 10 years when COVID is so done, people are still gonna say, we can't open up the play place because of COVID. It's like, just get to cleaning it. <sighs> I actually went to the bathroom in this particular location and it was a little bit of a different aesthetic. It was like a white panel, which was kind of cool. And it had the old ass hand dryer. You know the one where you have to click the metal square and it comes out so shitty? It really makes you appreciate the new Dyson ones. I was miserable trying <sighs> to dry my hands for like, so long. And I eventually just walked out with wet hands. This 2000s era Burger King is also getting a pat on the back. I just love it. It, it, it felt welcoming to me. So basically 75% of the Burger Kings were great, but it does make me hope that Burger King, it's on a little bit of a roller coaster and it's a instead of crashing into the ground, you have a little bit of a going another hill. It would be very sad if a day ever comes where Burger King is just non-existent. I, just, I can't even imagine it. I actually don't think that'll ever happen, ever. <laughs>